Hi, everybody. Meteorologist Joe Chaffee here, weather in five, five days and five minutes on this late April slash November day. And it is going to at least be a decent day as far as sunshine is concerned. However, uh, it is cold and it is windy and <laughs> this is not uh, the kind of sustained warm weather that you would like to see during the spring. But bottom line is this is not all that unusual we've seen this happen over the course of the last number of years where uh, it seems to stay on the cold side of normal until we get into maybe the middle part of may and then a switch is flipped that's just how it works as far as spring is concerned in the northeast there's no uh there's no magic to it and there's no romantic notion that suddenly it should be warm weather and and birds singing and flowers everywhere would that it could be that way, but it isn't. And you can see high temperatures today just in the low to mid 50s, uh, gusty northwest winds of 20 miles an hour or more as far as the sustained winds of 15 to 20 and gusts probably up into the 30s. Uh, meanwhile, as we look at the satellite this morning, a little bit of patchy cloudiness rolled through overnight, and that's moving southeastward. There's not much left going on to the north and west as the atmosphere stabilizes. We have a, a storm sitting near Nova Scotia. You can see the rotation there, and that's actually still uh, bringing back uh, some uh, snow uh, in parts of uh, e of eastern Maine, down east Maine. We're seeing uh, some snow there up to several inches or more in some places, especially as you head up uh, toward northern Maine. Uh, it's more a little more, more rain as you head down to the south. Uh, but we don't see uh, any showers popping up in New York State or Pennsylvania, so that's a good thing. At least we don't have uh, an unstable atmosphere with all this cold air around. Meanwhile, some showers uh, breaking out in the upper Mississippi Valley, heading toward the Great Lakes and also down into parts of Oklahoma. We're seeing some showers and one or two thunderstorms. And the risk area today is mainly in the plains uh, with a small area of slight risk in northwestern Nebraska. Now, for tomorrow, the Storm Prediction Center has an enhanced risk uh, an enhanced risk for severe weather. North central Oklahoma northward through uh, much of central Kansas uh, almost into the eastern Kansas, slight risk surrounding that into Nebraska and Iowa. And uh, as far as uh, tornadoes are concerned, uh, there is a uh, rather large 10% risk in that enhanced area of tornado risk. And as we move on to day three, uh, we have a fairly large area of slight risk in Illinois, western Indiana, western Kentucky, and southeast Missouri, northeastern Arkansas uh, for Saturday into Sunday. And we are still looking at some long-range issues in West Texas on day four and in Northeast Texas on day five. Predictability too low uh, everywhere else. And as far as rain is concerned over the next seven days, uh, we're looking at most. This takes us through Thursday morning. Uh, there are going to be three weather systems in play next week, so this doesn't count whatever we get after next Thursday morning uh, because uh, we're showing mostly about a quarter to a half an inch up and down the eastern seaboard. And then you start to get into some bigger amounts as you head into the Ohio Valley, the middle Mississippi Valley, and the northern plains, uh, seeing up to several inches of rain being indicated. Now, I, I'm going to just do the upper air here. We have a blocking pattern, which I don't think is any big surprise to anyone. You know, we've been talking about this for many days now, and it's very typical to get to blocking patterns in the spring. Higher than normal pressures uh, up in uh, the North Atlantic near Greenland, and that causes the jet stream to get displaced to the south. Now, we are in a, quote, good part of the block because of where the upper low is sitting, which is up in eastern Maine and over, no over Nova Scotia, and that's keeping it dry uh, in uh, the northeast except for northern New England, uh, and it's keeping it windy uh, windy and cold and dry here in uh, the northeast and northern in uh, eastern Pennsylvania to southern New England down into uh, northern Virginia. Uh, so the one upside here is that uh, we're in a good place with respect to the block as far as weather is concerned uh, from day to day. At least it's not doom and gloom weather uh, for the time being. And that upper low is going to hang around for another day or two before it finally starts to slowly pull away to the east for Saturday and Sunday. That should allow uh, things to warm up a bit over the weekend. So tomorrow will be a repeat performance of today, although temperatures might be a, a few degrees higher, let's say mid to upper 50s, and those gusty winds will continue, although they may start to ease later in the day. Saturday looks good. 
Uh, now, watch what happens for next week. The, the uh, blocking pattern is still there, but it rearranges itself. And this is going to allow weather systems from the west to start moving in and moving east across the United States. And the last one of the series is probably the strongest one of the bunch. And that's going to come uh, toward the end of next week. Uh, so uh, we're going to replace all this dry weather uh, with uh, wet weather uh, down the road. So here's here's what it looks like on the surface map of the GFS. Just uh, we'll run it back here so we can take you through uh, all of this. And uh, again, uh, no issues tomorrow. We still have that storm to the east, still a bit on the windy side, but the winds will start to ease tomorrow night uh, and into Saturday. Saturday should be a good day with some sunshine. You see that system Sunday morning with showers uh, in Ohio and Kentucky down into Tennessee. Uh, the uh, dry air should hold on uh, through the daytime hours. We'll probably see some showers Sunday night into Monday morning, then a bit of a break. Then here comes the next low. Uh, with some showers probably Tuesday night into Wednesday, and then we'll see the third weather system. Uh, this low is going to move east across the Ohio Valley and then redevelop probably somewhere near Chesapeake Bay and then pass by to our south and east. So we're going to have a, uh, looks like this is where we really get into some gloom and doom weather for Thursday night into Friday. And yes, that is, by the way, some snow and sleet that's being shown up in parts of uh, upstate New York and in some of the elevated areas. Uh, it's just it's just the way it is, folks. After that, uh, we should dry out, hopefully, although there's another front scheduled to come through with some showers on Mother's Day. At least that's the way it looks right now. So uh, make the best of it, folks. At least you got the sun today, tomorrow, and then Saturday and Sunday, 60s on uh, low to mid 60s on Saturday, mid to upper 60s on Sunday, which should be uh, much more reasonable. Uh, we'll uh, see you tonight on the Joe and Joe Weather Show at 7.30 Eastern Time.